So Professor Liu is going to show you how to do uh, your chapter nine homework number three. So I do these new Java projects. <clears throat> I'm going to call 2023 uh, spring. All right, in chapter nine, uh, section three. These I'm going to call over, uh, I think it's O. Oh, oh. I'm going to call this overwrite. Okay, they show you some a bunch of overwriting. Okay, and I don't create. And over here, and I'm going to open my section three. And I open my section three here. I'm going to take the question. Remember, that's my uh, super class. And I'm going to have choice question. All right, so that inherit question in question demo two. Once I have that, I'm going to drag them into my source. So I drag them into my source right now. And let's take a look. So remember, uh, we learned something called inheritance. So uh, the question, just have the question and the answer. Okay, question is called tax, answer is called answer. We are going to inherit to choice question. It's okay. So let's take a look at the question here. So question, we saw that in question number one already. Okay, so that's no big deal. Question number one, we have tax, that's a question. Answer is the answer. So this part, we saw this. And we also know that you can do set tax, set answer. And check answer is you are going to use the objects. Object is your super ancestor. Your super ancestor has cosmic. That means everybody can use it. They have a super uh, uh, free method. You don't need to write it. It's called equal. So we compare your response with answer and to give you, you know, true and false response. We're going to inherit that become question. Okay, so let's go to choice question here. At the choice question here, I extend question. Okay, so I inherit question. So that means beside beside uh, text answer and set text set quote answer check answer. I already have that. I don't, I don't need to write it. Now I have something else right now. I have array list. All right. So on my choice question here, I need to initialize my array list. Then I have add questions. Then I have add questions. Okay, add choice. So when I add choice here, and I can say this is true or not true. Okay, if true, then uh, I do this. Then I also have a display. I want to display. And when I did do display, I am going to display the <coughs> super class display. <coughs> question display already display the question. So super dot display will display the question. All right. Then you are going to use a for loop to this to this to display your answer. You're going to do a for loop to display your answer. Understand that right now? All right. So let's open the question demo two. So right here, I have two questions. Okay. Number one question. All right. So choice question first. New choice question. <coughs> so set tax is from mm, the super class. What was the original name of Java programming? Add choice is from your choice question. You do that. And 
So if the answer there is false, you answer there is false. You answer this is true. Question number two is a、uh, same question. In which country is that? Like that. All right, and then、uh, we also have a inner class. Remember, we practice to inner classes. So inner class is a private class used by men. So you 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 have to put a static here. Okay, it's using at the present. You see here present questions is used here. Okay,、um, then you use that because you need to have a connection between. Your super class and and your uh your inherit class, and you want it to be a little bit clear. You don't want to be put everything messy, so you put. All right, I present my question. When I present my question, my question actually is a Choi class. Choi question is the inherit one. So when I do the inherit one, all right, I want to display. In this, I want to display the question. Then I want to say, "Hey, your answer, okay?" And you give me the answer right here. Then I, I will put your answer into the response. Then I go back to check answer. I go back to check answer, and the check answer is from your、uh, super class. I go back to check answer right here. Okay, all right. So let's run this program right now. Run as Java application. So, what is the uh uh first of these? Okay. So, uh, you cannot write one, two, three, four. We haven't do that yet. Do you understand? You have to write like this. So I or from here. So you write oak. O A K, and、huh. well, let me see why is wrong, is false. Ah,、uh, let me see. Okay, something. Okay, false. So which country ah、uh, is um invented in here? Okay, so this one um this one ah、uh, I actually can do. Two. Let me see. Two. All right. So I have. A, let me run it one more time. Okay. So I think they already allow me to do one, two, three, four. Okay. So let me run, close it, and yeah. So right here, you already the the question uh com uh choice question to compare right here. You already can get get I. You can compare with number right now. All right. So let me run that. All right. So we're going to do this. If my answer is、uh, one, is false. Three is true, right? And this is two is correct. Okay. So far, okay. And we. Are able to achieve that because at your choice question here, at your choice question here, you overwrite, you overwrite the display. So when you display, you say this. Okay, you say this、so、from zero to whatever、uh, the size here. So size is four, zero to four, right? And whatever choice I did, I put one actually. Uh, if I put a、uh, choice one, okay, then I want to do because I plus one, okay, because that's a、uh, actually zero one two three. You understand? Then I will get that I choice get I, okay. Once I got that, once I got that, and you able to get this one. So、um, for this question. What you learn is this is your、um, super class. We we learn this already, and but your uh but but your um uh inherited class actually 
a a override the display. The display is a lot more beside this and that, and the uh uh you can also do add choice. So at the question demo here will allow you will allow you to do choice question. When you do this, we uh because when you whenever you have inherit, you want to override and. Uh, we tend to write the inner class. This is the inner class. Okay. Whenever you want to write inner class, inner class is a class used by the man. You see the man here have present question. Okay, that's an inner class. And he, if you want to overwrite, in order to make this concept a little clear. You usually write a inner class to do that to show you you override you take you take from the super class and you also check answer. This is your check answer is actually override override from your uh question because your question check answer is just return true and false original. Question one, true and false. But right now, your uh check answer is overriding. Okay, when you do this, and you are going to uh um uh do this right now, you are you are going to um um uh, first, and you you going to uh look for uh the answer like uh. One two three four, and you are going to use the one two three four, and to check it. All right. So, uh, this is your um 